The first question comes from Kojo, but time changes, and the question says as follows. Please, any update on the 80,000 diversity visa selection? Before I answer specifically to that particular question, I want to give some clarification on your question. It is not the visa selection. It is the visa uh, issue, the number of people who will be receiving the visas. Because up to now, the number of people who are selected for the DV lottery is higher than 80,000. To be exactly, for instance, if I have to give the example, the DV 2021 winners, the number of people who have been selected for the DV 2021 is 133,000. It's 132 and some change nearby 133,000. But according to the Immigration and Nationality Act, the act which controls, which guides how many people are supposed to be given the green card, the Immigration and Nationality Act, which also governs or directs or provide guidelines on when the green card lottery is supposed to, uh, to, to, play, to be played, the selection process, and how many people are supposed to be given the visas, and when are the visas are supposed to be the deadline, is given or governed by the law. So in order to change that one, a president alone cannot be able to do that. And because it is a law of the country, in order to change, to do any amendment of the law, you have to go back to the body which is responsible for creating or for making these laws. And it is the Congress. And in the United States, the Congress is divided into two. There is the House of Representatives, which is the, the lower branch, or the lower branch of, of, the, of the, it's just the lower parliament. And then there is the Senate. Uh, at this, this moment I'm talking to you, uh, which we're talking about the year 2021, up to the year 2022, the House of Representatives is under Democrats. The majority for over 15 seats is Democrats. So major legislation going to, to the House, when they're voting, obviously Democrats will be able to lead. That's number one I want you to know. But in the Senate, it is a 50-50 split. There are 48 Democrats and there are two independents, but those two independents are by default also Democrats because it's Ben Sanders who we know was planning even to run for president as Democrats, but is independent. So it's 50 50. Once they have 50 50 votes, usually the vice president, who is the kind of like the president of the Senate or the chairperson of the Senate, is going to cast the vote to split. Uh, the tie, to break the tie. But what happens is this way. Up to this moment, I'm talking to you, uh, the, the plan of increasing the number of DV visas to be given, not to be selected, selection is higher, to be given from 55,000 to 80,000 is within what we call the United States Citizenship Act or the bill of 2021. That is the bill which has been proposed by Democrats. The plan was to go direct to the Congress, like to the House and to the Senate. And the plan was also to go through during the time of the relief budget, going through the pandemic, uh, the, 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 the stimulus. Because if it has to go through the stimulus, it could require just 51 votes. Because the Part of the stimulus package was through what we call the budget reconciliation process. So the budget reconciliation process allows just simple majority votes. But because Democrats, especially the House of, uh, the, because the Democrats and especially the uh, Speaker Nancy Pelosi, some of the Democrats thought it was not a good idea to add that one. But for me, I saw that is a mistake. If you really wanted to pass this one, you had to use that one. But there are some of the people, even within Democrats, were against that one. That's why the even Democrats feared to take it to the Congress. By taking it out, they made it even harder for them. Why they made it even harder? Because now, if he's going back 
to the Congress, it is going to the, to the different process. The process will be used. It is not going to be simple majority vote. It is going to be what is called the majority vote is not the simple majority is going to be the majority vote which you need to have 60 vote in the senate there are 100 senators so you need to have all democrats vote for that that's number one which is still very difficult why i say very difficult because it happened over a couple times where democrats were majority in house in the senate and in the white house the president is democrat but they didn't pass the major legislation of this magnitude of immigration because five Democrats in the Senate voted against in a couple times. So if that is the case, there are people within Democrats, they are against this, uh, this one. But again, at the same time, uh, you need to have 10 Republican. So because of that, they took that one, uh, the bill, into what you call the Judiciary Committee. So now the bill is in the Senate, in the Judiciary Committee, and the bill is in the House for the Judicial Committee. The committee are going to discuss. Then they will come with a refined bill to kind of to, kind of to, to discuss that one. And the, uh, recently, uh, three, four days ago, a uh, Republican have come with a counter type of uh, immigration bill, which is still has some of the good things, which they are part of the Democratic bill. So we wanted to see how it will be able to happen. But up to this moment, it hasn't got, I mean, the bill, uh, the U.S. Citizenship uh, Act of 2021, it hasn't gone to the floor of the House. It hasn't gone to the floor of the Senate to be able to be discussed. So the priority at the moment is the, the House has passed two uh, major immigration bills, uh, but also those are for the temporary TPS, the temporary uh, protected people, uh, and also the, uh, the people under DACA to be given the path to the citizenship. So it has passed to the House, it is going to the Senate. We do not know what will be able to happen in the Senate. But it will be a long road to go through that one. So we do not know at the moment. Uh, but if I look on that, uh, it, it, that's why they might go to put into pieces uh, and we'll be able to see what will be able to happen. Uh, so the answer can be yes, it can be able to pass, and the answer can be no to be able to pass. And the, the Democrats must do that one before 2022. Why? Because in November 2022, there is another election we call media election. The media election, there is no guarantee that Democrats will win House. There is no guarantee they will continue to have 50-50. If they lose even one seat of the Senate, it will be a very tough situation. So that's why they have to do everything before the next election to happen. So that is what the status of the uh, the V uh, increase, the number of visas to be issued from 55,000 to 80,000 still is a long road to go because it is part of the bigger uh, uh, police which needs to have 60 votes. All 50 Republicans, uh, uh, all 50 Democrats, and you need 10 Republicans uh, in the Senate to vote to support that one, which is a very, very tough call to do that.